Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? I'm here to talk about the uh, Cruiserweight Championship Tournament they have going on on 205 Live right now. Um, yeah, so basically what's been going on is, if you've been watching my live reactions for it, I've really enjoyed the tournament. I'm just going to kind of talk about who's advanced and give my predictions for the uh, quarterfinals. Um, or the, I think it's the quarterfinals because then the semifinals and then the finals was next. So, yeah. Basically, we have a new um, 205 Live general manager. It's Drake Maverick, otherwise known as Rockstar Spud. Um, and overall, I think he's been doing an awesome job, job as GM. I really like his role um, in the Cruiserweight division as the GM. I think it's bringing some, bringing some legitimacy back to the Cruiserweight division. And he announced a 16-man elimination tournament um, that's going to culminate at WrestleMania, which I hope is not on the kickoff, because if, if they put this on the kickoff, then there's no chance that the Cruiserweight division is going to recover from it. So, um, so far in round one, Cedric Alexander advanced by defeating Grand Matalik. I thought that was a very good match. I really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, it was a really good match. Uh, then you have, uh, TJP, who advanced by defeating, um, Tyler Bate. Um, I thought that was a really good match. Um, I really wish Tyler Bate would have went over, but whatever. Um, I think, t I, um, you know, obviously I think TJP uh, really showed himself in this match. And then we have um, Drew Gulak, who advanced by defeating Tony Nese. That was a really good match. Drew Gulak looks really str looked really strong in that match. And, um, yeah, he looked really strong. I thought uh, Drew Gulak really showed himself. And he brought back some of that aggressiveness we saw from the uh, Cruiserweight Classics. And it was really good. Then we have uh, Kalisto, who defeated Lince Dorado to advance. That's been the best match of the tournament. That match was amazing. Um, it really made me a huge fan of Lince Dorado because I really, I thought he was a good talent, but um, I didn't really see a lot in him just because of the fact that I hadn't seen a lot of his work. Um, so I really enjoyed that match. Roderick Strong got a surprise win over Hideo Itami, which I didn't see coming at all. I thought Hideo Itami would have gone far in the tournament since he's been trying. They've been trying to hype him up, but. That didn't happen, so I was okay with this. Um, and I like the new heel, Roderick Strong. Then we have uh, Mark Andrews, who defeated Akira Tozawa. I was kind of surprised about that, but because of the Roderick Strong win, I really wasn't that surprised. So I thought that was, you know, very strong. Uh, Buddy Murphy defeated Aria Davari to advance. That was a pretty good match. It's probably been the worst match of the tournament, but it was still a good match. I gave it three stars. Um... Then you have Gentleman Jack Gallagher who ended up losing to um, Mustafa Ali. So yeah, uh, that's the whole first round. I think the first round's been really good, and now we're getting into uh, round two, and I'm really all well, the quarterfinals, and I'm really looking forward to watching that. So let's talk about those matches. We have Cedric Alexander going to take on TJP. I think C Cedric Alexander is going to advance. I expect him to go very far in this tournament since he was the number one contender to the Cruiserweight Championship before they had to do this tournament. Um, what else? Uh, we have um, Drew Gulak versus Mark Andrews. I expect that to be a really strong match, and I'm going to say Gulak's going to win. I think the finals is going to be Gulak versus Cedric Alexander. So We have Roderick Strong versus Kalisto. I think that's going to be an amazing match. I'm going to give it to Roderick Strong. I think they're going to give Roderick, they're going to make Roderick Strong look you know, really well in the tournament. So I'm going to give it to Roderick Strong. Um, and then there's another match. Oh, Buddy Murphy versus uh, Mustafa Ali. Um, Buddy Murphy's probably going to win, but I don't really want him to, so, but, whatever. Um, that's pretty much the, uh, my predictions for the quarterfinals. Overall, I really enjoyed the, uh, Cruiserweight tournament. I've enjoyed 205 Live in general. I hear that Triple H now has full control of that show, and you can definitely see that, uh, the creative direction of 205 Live has changed just because of the presentation of the show. So, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying 205 Live a lot better lately. Um, expect the live reactions coming up tomorrow night. And that's pretty much it, guys. I really don't have anything left to say. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and share this video for more content. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe to this channel. Click on the bell so that way every time you upload a video, you guys will get the notifications for it. And make sure you guys do the same thing for my CM Brothers and Owen the Talkinator YouTube channels.